this time? Oh, it's fun. Everyone's been uh, pretty welcoming. Uh, it's a lot of, apparently, it's a lot of new faces, so I guess we're all kind of figuring it out together. But it's been good. The linebacker room's been good. Everyone's pretty close. We've been going out together, trying to get to know each other, so it's been good. Now that you've gotten a few practices under your belt, what do you like about this defense and how you fit specifically into the defense? Uh, I mean, some of the spot drop stuff is fun, like getting to your landmark and then having eyes on the quarterback. Um, but a lot of it, what we've done so far, I've done before. Um, and so just it's familiarity. I think that's another thing that I kind of like. And then playing next to Rowe, he kind of gets, he's had a really good feel of uh, understanding, you know, what the offense is doing. And so just feeding off him too, it's helpful. What's that chemistry been like between the two of you? Oh, it's been cool. I mean, he's, like I say, he's, one, he's fast. And then two, his pre-snap reads are, are really good. So being able to anticipate um, a pre-snap is, is helpful. And then him being able to communicate to me to kind of get me going. So it's been helpful. We saw you handling the defensive calls. How much do you like that responsibility? It's cool. I mean, I think it's on everybody, though. Like, once the calls get in, everyone's got to kind of echo it. But it's been cool. I mean, the biggest thing is just understanding your win. Like, you know, you got to be in shape to do it because you got to run downfield and you got to come back and give the calls. And so it's been cool. And I don't think it's anything new, that I've, nothing I haven't done before. Um, but just, you know, getting the calls in everybody and getting everybody set. And after that, it's on everybody to be responsible for it. You talked about uh, Roquan Smith being fast. And people say that you guys are going to work well together because you're fast as well. Is he faster than you? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> hey, guy, we talked about this before, but I'm just curious as you get to know Chicago a little bit. Is, is, is the Greenville and the small town and, and the Division Three and stuff, is that all in the past, or do you still every once in a while have to look around and say, wow, that was then, and look where I am now? Yeah, I, I mean, it's six years removed, so I don't really think about it as much, but I, I am I'm aware, right? Like, there's, there's not a day where I'm not aware, but... Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think about it as much, especially when I'm on the grass. I'm on the grass as football, um, but I'm definitely aware, and I try to get back to those guys as much as I can too, as well. So totally different follow up. But, you know, we all talk to sources, scouts, whatever. The scouting report on you is a lot about your speed and athleticism, but the one thing every scout I've talked to brings up is, is the way you hit when you arrive. Yeah. Uh, is that something that you take particular pride in? Is there a special skill or technique that you work on to be able to deliver that blow? Yeah, I mean, it's something you work on. I think it's also something that I've continued to work on, you know, meeting with the coaches and talking about different styles of tackling. Um, you know, last year, talked about strike zone and a profile tackle. This year, talking about hamstring tackling. So it's a little bit different, a little bit lower strike zone. But, you know, I'm, I'm all, always welcome to everything and learning how to do it better, you know. Is it, is it different, the level that this team is, is counting on you to for the defense to be successful just coming into it? No, it's nothing different. I mean, I think you, you never you never change your approach. You know, what I mean, you approach the same way. Like in 2020, um, I went to that year playing Sam. And I finished that year playing Mike, and so you never change the approach. The approach is always the same. I think this is a new defense for you know that for almost every for everybody who's in it. I know it's early, but at this stage, do you get an idea of just how what the learning curve is going to be? How you know how how quickly uh, uh, you can you can get started as far as being effective as a defensive unit and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's a good question. I think. You know, speaking with Coach Williams when I, when I signed with the Bears, um, one thing he talked about was we're going to do what everyone's good at. And I think he has a good job and a good feel of, okay, hey, you know, this, this, this is a good call for us, this is a good call for us, and let's kind of get to that. So if it's landmarks, then we're going to run landmark defense. If it's man-to-man, -man, we'll run man. If it's match, we'll run match. So I think that's the biggest thing is, like, understanding what, they, what the group does well as a whole. Um, but as we get deeper into it, we'll kind of see like what we do well. I mean, it's, like I said, it's kind of early to, to say like we'll be at this type of defense or that type of defense. But it all starts with effort. You know, it's when we talk about his principle, hustle. So it's all talk, it all starts with effort. But I think Coach Williams does a good job of figuring out like, hey, you know, we're good at this. Let's do this more often. So. Jake, one of the things Matt was talking about was your early schedule. You're facing some teams that run the same stuff that you. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that when the schedule came out, and and could that be beneficial to a defense that is kind of coming together? Yeah, well, I'll be honest with you. I have not looked at the schedule. Um, that's my wife. She she figures all that stuff out, like the <laughs> tickets and stuff like that. I don't do it. But um, I know we. I think we have what San Fran first. Um, no, I haven't looked at the schedule as much, but I do. I am aware of like the Shanahan tree. You know, with with um, was that in Green Bay and then now in Minnesota and even here. So like some of that's good. But we get to face that that offense and in, in practice, so that's good. Um, yeah, it'd be good to have some familiarity. Every offense has a different wrinkle. Um, every play caller has their, you know, their niche and what they like to call. So you'll definitely have to be on your your, your um, game plan. But no, it's good to see it, you know, back and forth. But like I said, it'd be a wrinkle every now and then. So you have to you have to be aware. You know. Nick, I know you guys haven't had on the pad yet, but what have you 
you're seeing from the defensive line in terms of their ability to keep you and Roquan clean and able to use that speed we've been talking about? Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, Lowe's big, right? But he also runs well. He keep putting up a taste where he's running downfield, running after the ball. Um, and some of the line movements, they do a good job of getting in those stunts. Um, like I said, it's hard. To, like I said, it's hard to tell when we're not in pass because, you know, when you're not in pass, offensive line may jump up those, those to the second level really quickly. And they don't. They don't really think about getting a double team. So it's kind of hard. But even even there's some plays you'll see like you'll, they do a good job of stopping the run. Like you talk about, and I'm getting into a little bit. But whenever the nose can set the edge, I mean that's that's money, right? Because then now if I'm in the B gap, I can fall back really quickly. The wheel can just stay in the A gap. So when you, I see, you've seen that a couple of times with low. Um, also adjusting with some of the pirate games, he's crossing the, the uh, guard's face and allowing us to fall back. So that's keeping us clean. So you can see it a little bit, but and when you're not in the pass, it's kind of hard because they just jump up. You know. Nick, when it comes to position labels in this defense, like a Will or a Mike, does it really matter if you're the Will or, or if Roquan's the Mike? Does it matter in this defense? Uh, not, not really. I mean, you, you see that more um, – like with a Seattle three, when you got guys running with overs, or if you're in like a Tampa two, where you got the mic running up the middle, read. Um, but this defense is, you know, we, we do a lot of, we do some of that, but it's a lot of other stuff as well. So it's kind of interchangeable. I think some of it, maybe in third down, you'll see a little bit more specific, like position specific things. But in the early downs, I don't think it really matters that much. Nick, no. when there was a, a report that, that Robert Quinn might want to be traded from Chicago, do you guys look at that and think about? How that might affect you as a player? Yeah, uh, not really. I mean, I, you know, unfortunately, I haven't really met him yet. I haven't seen him, um, and so I can't really tell you, you know, about him as a person. But if he's here, great. If he's not, you know, hope the best for him and hope the best for us as well. You know, I can't really talk about it. What are your early impressions on Jaquan Brisker and Kyler Gordon? Turnovers. I mean, shoot, Kyler's first day on the job, he had two picks, and, and Brisker punched the ball out as well, and he punched the ball out again yesterday. Um, they're doing a good job of finding the football, punching it out, getting it out. Um, they're, they're on the game plan. They're in the right spots. And they'll just get better. I mean, it's early. You know, you still got to get some technique and all that stuff, and that, that'll come. It's just part of being a rookie and, and learning the system. But early on, I mean, they're getting the ball out. So that's always a plus.